Welcome to the 16th part of this tutorial series, one of the final videos we have. This has been a pretty long one, but it's time to get it finished. Um, what we're going to be doing in this video is adding collectibles. And if you notice, um, our player doesn't have any health. Oh, wait, they do, but we don't change it in the game. So let's get to that right now. Um, so open up your scratch, scratch game. And um, like I said, you notice you don't get hurt at all. So the first thing we need to do is change that fact. So we have something here called the player health. Um, I believe, where is it? It's this one. Um, I don't know where it is though. Player health, player health. Oh my, okay. Actually, it's yeah, it's just called health. It's not player health, it's just health. Okay, so what we're gonna do <coughs> is first, we're gonna say when um when flag is clicked um we're gonna have a couple of um things that happen so um and then we're also gonna say when i receive so the first broadcast we're gonna add is wasted so when i receive wasted and then we're gonna put a flag here so when flag um forever if touching explosion um then we're going to wait uh 0 0.1 seconds and then hide and then yeah we also went to um broadcast wasted so if we touch an explosion, our player touches it, we wait a second, make our player hide, and then broadcast wasted. Um, and then when we broadcast wasted, we want to stop the other scripts in the sprite. Now, um, the next thing we want to do is check a few other if statements. So the next one we're gonna say is if um, touching a police bullet. So if we touch a police bullet, we're going to do remove all this and we're going to say set i'm um, not set but we're actually going to change we're going to change the player health um not player health just health um by negative 10 and then just say when flag is clicked forever and then duplicate that and say when we touch a police car and then we're going to change the player health by negative 20 but then the thing is we can technically touch this car for a little bit long so let's add this here and to be honest let's change this to 0 0.1 okay so now we've added the fact that our player can lose health now let's add a way for our player to gain health in the link in the description um we have a pick up um sprite so we're just gonna add this and open it and then go to the costume and then add the other four so then we just add the other four here and then we have pick up one two three and four so this is just a little animation for our pickup um, and now we have to add the code for this pickup, which is fairly simple. Um, first, um, go to the car sprite and we're going to copy, actually, we're not going to copy it from the car. We're going to copy it from the explosion and actually change this to health pickup and then, um, Next, we're going to say when I start as clone, uh, we're going to forever position. Um, then we're going to say if touching player and then if we do touch the player, then we're going to change um, health by 
Now here you can choose whatever. I'm just going to make it add 10 because these are going to be fairly, these are going to be um, spawned fairly commonly. So I don't want to give, you know, our player a crazy, you know, advantage when they get touched by this. Um, next, next, we're going to say when flag is clicked, hide. And then I'm going to turn this red. If you want to keep it green, fair game. But I'm going to make it red by setting color effect to 150. And then you notice here we, it's red. So I'm going to have it red. You can have it green if you want and don't set the color effect. I'm going to have it red because I think red looks cooler. Um, then we're going to say when I, oh, and if you want to experiment with colors, change this um, value right here. Um, now we're going to say when I start as clone, um, we're going to switch costume to pick up one because we want to start at the beginning of our pickup cycle. And then we're going to set, um, my X and my Y to the spawn X and spawn Y. Spawn X, spawn Y, and then position, and then show. And then to prevent wasting time, we'll go to our player, um, and then just duplicate this animation. Go to our player again, and was there a player that I just, oh, just in? Yes, I was. Um, and then remove this extra one. And then, oh, wow, I didn't put it in. That is crazy. Um, okay, so let me go back to our player. So just drag this to our health pickup. Um, and then we're basically going to say, put this in a forever loop. And we're going to say if costume number is less than four, then costume number plus one, one. And then we're going to make this 0 0.2 and then 0 0.2 duplicate 0 0.2. And then we're going to say pick up one. And there we go. So now our health pickup code is finished. Now we need to go to our busted. And we're going to change this to wasted busted um a title right and then we're going to go to the costume link in the description as well for this where we're going to <coughs> import wasted and the wasted background select drag it to the left drag it to the right select copy paste and then a little bit like this a little bit smaller and then something like this, um, busted, wasted. Yeah, look about, look good enough. Um, and what you what you realize is this isn't a straight black thing. This is a little bit faded. Oh, and we can see our health pickup playing there. Okay, so now the last last thing for our collectibles, and then after this we add a mission, um, is. We're going to we're going to add I'm not add but um create no 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 actually no we don't need to create a brand new variable go to the civilian and then look to the place where okay right here health chance remember I said this is gonna be useful um but actually we don't need a variable called health health chance instead we can just pick a random one, two, and then see if that randomly picked variable, like um, I believe if we drag this and then ask two, one, two, one. So if it equals to one, create clone of health pickup. Um, so we're gonna assign that here and then drag this into our um, police walking guys. And then um, when they die, um, right here, touching bullet, explosion, 
or car pedestrian collision we're going to police killed minus one and don't delete the clone because we do that later now let's go ahead and shoot some civilians oh oh and before i forget um we also have to um go to the wasted thing and let's say when i receive wasted um you know go to front layer and whatnot um but actually we don't have to display anything called wasted what we can do instead is go into our flag hide at the beginning but we're going to set health to 100 to 100 and then wait wait until um wait until health is less than one then we're going to duplicate this part and then change this to wasted show front layer boom bada bang um and now our health is 100 and now let's try one to die and two to get health from any civilian so okay we see that they dropped a the health and it's animated and boom boom okay so there's that um we'll fix the problem real soon you just okay so now let's try to die oh well we can't oh yeah we just died um so first go to our player and right here we said broadcast wasted uh it's not really useful is it so instead what we're going to do is hide and then change health by negative 100 if we touch an explosion um and then what we're also going to do is health pickup um if touching player you know what i'm saying um and then we also want to delete the clone after we get touched by the player so to do that we delete this clone so now let's try that again um try to find some civilians some civilians that will meet their doom their doom their doom their doom i right, boom cool and then we get 110 now we can get busted we already know that so let's try to um end i mean get our health to zero so boom um boom okay ah, come on okay let's try that again um boom and boom okay perfect now let's just ha let, let me just sit here and get attacked wasted perfect well Thank you very much for watching this video. Please make, to make sure to smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. Um, comment any questions you have below, any suggestions you have. Um, yeah, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the f one of the final videos. We might It might be one or two videos where we're adding a mission into the game, something to actually do. Um, yeah, see you in the next video. Peace.